Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to take an AI assistant like the one we built in VoiceFlow in the last video and show how it looks like on any website you can find on the internet. This is really useful to see it for yourself but also to show it to friends or potentially even clients. So let me show you how to do that. All right, to show a VoiceFlow AI chatbot on any other website, you just need two things. One is the VoiceFlow chatbot itself and the other one is any kind of website. And we're going to use this one from Inlingua here, a random language school in Switzerland. And so once your AI is ready, you can click here on publish You can give it a name or skip that. And after a few seconds, you can embed the widget here. Now we go to the other website and now what we need to do here is open inspect and we'll go to source and here you need to find overrides which might be hidden here and so click this arrow and then overrides and we want to select a folder for overrides. I'm going to make a new one here. That's where our overrides will be stored. So I'm going to select it and select this folder. And now when we go to the network tab, we reload the page. We can see all the files that are associated to the website. And what we want is to scroll all the way up and find this top thing here. Just click on it and you'll see basically the code of the whole website. And again, we right click here and what we want to do is override the content. So let's click here. And now you'll need to uh, allow this to happen here. So let's allow it. And now once we selected a folder, you will also see that here, the index file now has this purple dot here which indicates that we are locally overriding a file from the website. And you also need to make sure that this tick here is set for the local overrides, but by default this should be the case, so no need to do anything. And now we can get again the script code, the JavaScript from here, from VoiceFlow. Scroll all the way down in the code to the end. And here, just before the body end tag, we can paste in this script. We save and reload. And we can close this inspector here. As you see, now we have the Inlingua page with the chatbot open. We can scroll around and you see everything works nicely. And now you see obviously the color scheme doesn't match. So now you can just go back to the editor here of voice flow and adjust all those kind of spacings, colorings, logos and make it match to the Inlingua website. Let me quickly speed up the video and show you how that would look like. So we just changed everything here in the web chat window in voice flow. Now we can just go back to the language school site and reload the page. And what we see is that we now have an AI that is nicely matched to the color and styling of the website. It has the logo and it's very much on brand. And now you know how to put an AI assistant from VoiceFlow on any website you want to just with the Google Chrome developer tools. And that was really it. If you find this useful or even applied this little hack yourself already, I'd love to hear about it down below in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.